So here we are then in the Spooky Tales. I don't know what we call this. What is it? Um, spooky Tales. Après Spook. <laughs> yes, yes. This is our our feedback spook. Yes. Uh, uh, spooky. Okay. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Après Spook. Yes. This is this is where we talk to you about something that we've just watched, related to our last podcast. And this case, it's about the Black Monk of Pontefract. And two of the things that we talked about in uh, both of the episodes, one was the film called... I can't remember the name of the film. I literally <laughs> it's cannot. It's just straight out of my head as I was saying that. So the film was called When the Lights Went Out. Oh, well done, well done, well done. And then we have just literally in the last half an hour just finished watching both episodes of Most Haunted... Uh, 30 East Drive, which is part one and part two, the first two episodes of series 17, or have I just made that up? It's certainly the first episode of series 17. I I think, I don't know if it was the second one or not, but I I think it it said part one, part two. Yes, definitely don't. Uh, and they, they're both available on YouTube, although it's quite weird on YouTube because they seem to play the episode twice in one go, don't they? Just in case. Yes, the most haunted is available on YouTube. The film. The film, uh, you can get DVD, or I think we saw it on Amazon Prime. Streamed it. Yeah, we streamed it on Amazon Prime or something like that. Yeah, so we've so we've watched them. Yeah, so what did you think of the film? Uh well, bizarrely enough, I'm not that much of a horror fan. I don't mind ghost stories and films, but I, I don't particularly enjoy horror. And I was worried it was going to be a horror. But it wasn't. It was sort of quite quiet. Spook. spook. Yeah. Yes, quite quiet. Things move. Um, quite quite monk. <laughs> could be. Couldn't quite be. quite monk. monk. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it just builds and builds and builds in an unpleasant way. Yes. Yeah. A good but unpleasant way. What did you think? Yeah. No. I mean, I thought it was because uh, I quite like horror fil- films, even if they are quite quiet monk. Yes, uh, and uh, yeah, it was it was good. I enjoyed it. I think it was. Um, I knew a bit about it before I'd watched it. Anyway, yes, is the idea because uh, because I watched it because we both watched it before we recorded the episode. Yes, and uh, it was something that I think was enjoyable as a as a you know as a sort of spooky film. Anyway, yeah, um, it was it a horror film. I'm not sure. No, it'd be but a you, horror, said it, film. you said it. You said it. I think you said it to me as it it might be a horror film you weren't yeah. quite sure the level of spook and i don't yeah. like horror yeah. films particularly yeah but it was pretty it was pretty good it was uh, another film that i watched recently was the conjuring uh, the first one and uh it wasn't in the horror on the, in the sort of level of that in terms of horror no um but it was definitely a good film uh and definitely worth watching um and it had taken events that had happened uh, from uh, from the Pritchards, basically. The yeah. Pritchards' time in the house. Yeah, it had a lot of... It was very atmospheric, wasn't yeah. it? Oh, very much so, yeah. And it, yeah, you're right, it did have that intense feeling and it just got yeah. more and more intense, which yeah. you can imagine was probably what it was like. Yeah, it was hard to step away from it, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, we are watching it in our own lounge, but it it felt like it invaded it a little bit. I, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, so that... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And that's probably a good link to The Most Haunted, which we've just literally stopped watching. Yes. Because it was so unlike a normal Most Haunted. Yes. Because normally it's very polished and they run around a, a giant um, building, you know, manor house or something yeah. like that, or, and run around screaming. Uh, and, the, and the shots that they do, yes. the kind of linking shots, are really stylized, yes. aren't they? Yes, very much so. Whereas this was very all... Almo- this was really brass, uh, down to brass tacks, wasn't it? Yes. So Most Haunted, if you haven't seen it, and I'm sure you have, but just in case there's somebody that hasn't seen it, is a team of six to seven people. <laughs> oh, and that's a cat. The cat's just having a fight in the background. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so it's a team of kind of 
five to seven people led by Yvette Fielding and her husband, Carl Beatty, with their cousin, Stuart, who we actually saw in it. Yes. And We've forgotten his name in the yes. actual episode, in the, in the episode we've just recorded. Yes, that's right. So they spend 24 hours, they spend a lot of the day shooting establishing shots, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And then their thing is, they talk around the house and then they switch off all the cameras and they do it all on night vision or mm-hmm. some form of night vision, whereas they didn't do it like that, did they? Not quite in the same way they spent a lot of the time actually showing the establishing shots that they were doing because things were happening as they were doing the establishing shots and in the first couple of series of most haunted as you said in the episode i mean they were thrilled if they got an orb or they got somebody rap or you know rap a Mm -hmm. make a noise of some kind but this was they had things being thrown at them Mm -hmm. and on their locked off cameras, which always have appeared to be rubbish. <laughs> yes, I mean, nothing would happen. Nothing basically. would happen. Or the tiniest flick of paper, they yeah. would say, oh, did you see that? This time there were things moving here, there yeah. and everywhere. I, although, to be fair, in the later episodes, they did have sort of rocking chairs rocking and things like yeah. that. Yeah. But that's recently. But the um, but yes, in this one, it was they just couldn't stop it happening. And they, no. uh, so if you haven't seen it, it's on YouTube. I'd recommend you go and watch, watch them because like you was just saying it it got really quite intense yeah you really felt their sense of panic which they don't normally really have do they no they never show you that do they they never show you the kind of the their sense of dread whether or not they feel it they don't show it this time they really showed it didn't they absolutely you could really see just how scared they properly were yes and they looked exhausted yeah at the end yeah. Which they, obviously they, the impression you get is that they stepped to like three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. Yes. Yeah. But they looked shattered by the end of this, didn't they? Absolutely. They were totally drained. They didn't go in the coal house because that was one of the places that was, you know, meant to have been. Uh, you know, given some some real frights to people. Well, maybe they did and nothing happened. Yeah, it's possible, I suppose, yeah. But, yeah, m- maybe But that's... they never mentioned it. Well, they did mention it in one of the establishing shots to begin with, yeah, didn't so they? it's got a coal house, which is a cupboard next to the front door. Yeah. yeah. So you're probably right. Maybe they went in and nothing happened, so therefore not worth showing. Yeah, 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 I didn't think of that. Yeah. But it was, but yeah, yeah, but I'd still go, but I still wouldn't go in the coal house. No, and i tell you what was really good is that you got to see, having talked about it mm-hmm. for a couple of hours and you you know yeah. re- you doing all that research it was so good to actually see the rooms yes and yes. see see the staircase and see how everything how it's all yes because i'd seen pictures but i haven't yeah and it, actually what it reminded me was there was so much that i left out because there is so much material about what get, has gone on in that house that um you know i've only put a, a small amount of it in the in the episodes yeah. uh, so it's worth uh, reading the books that i uh, that i saw or you know at least watching this series because you'll hear a lot more of the things that went on previously to the pritchards as, as well as what happens to, to the most haunted team i know but in the most haunted one that was very much just what happened with the pritchards wasn't it yes very much you don't get to hear about what happened with the family previous to the Pritchard. But they do have the neighbour talk. Yes, the Carol, uh, you do get to hear and see Carol chatting about uh, her experiences as well. Yeah, which were quite horrible. <laughs> yes. So it was all really good. So I really enjoyed it. I found it really unsettling and worrisome. Mm-hmm. I had to go and get a jumper halfway through because I, I, the hairs on my arms were standing up so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're watching it mid-afternoon. Yes, and it's um, very warm outside. Yeah, so yeah. we shouldn't be cold and we shouldn't, but it, it, it did unsettle both of us, I think. Do you yeah. think so? Yeah, it did. And I think it was because it was a different way that they did it and they're because you, you saw them being... Uh, you know, so unsettled themselves yeah. uh, before they even went to the nighttime shots. In fact, a lot happened. Uh, you know, when you know when they had the lights on, they're wandering around in the day. So much happened there. I think you got the sense that that, that Carl, who is, I mean, he's as much part of it as as Yvette, really. Yes, isn't very he? much so. Yeah. That he would have actually. Yeah. packed up during the day because so. he got to the point where he was like I'm not sure we should yeah. we should do this actually yeah. and she was like oh no no I think we will yes uh, yeah, yeah they were very, he was very much like I don't really want to but you know this is what we do yeah um, so on, onwards but yeah they, they, they yeah it was so they were so uh, 
so uh, disturbed by being there, I think. Yeah, I don't think it was put on. No. No, it didn't, it didn't seem like it. No, if they did, wow. Yeah, fair play <laughs> for say Oscars for all round. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. So, yeah, so the, but it was so, we had so many feels. Yeah. When we finished it, I said, we're going to have to, we're going to have to tell the Spooky, Spooky Tales podcast people. Yeah. Absolutely. That we've seen it and that it's our reaction, really. I know. Yeah, and go and see the film as well. Um, What's when it I say again? go and see, um, bring the film to your lounge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sit comfortably and watch your film. Yes. Yeah. When the lights go out. When the lights when the lights went out. When the lights went out. And yeah. that's the film by Bill Bungay. And that's the film by Bill Bungay, who, when he, he's the producer, yes, yeah, so when he's the one that uh, produced that film, got it going, and then bought the house to do the, um, uh, to do the sort of marketing for it. Yeah. And, and, now, and now sort of, sort of, uh, rents it out by the night. Not cheap, by the way. Have um, you looked it yes, up? Yes, I had a look at this, and it's um, about 400 quid a night. That um, doesn't sound horrific. No? Crap. Well, no. no. I mean, I'm not going. It'd be a lot of money for <laughs> no, me, because it was just like... Such shows how cheap I am. I was just yeah. thinking maybe 60 quid, you know. Oh, no, because it's an experience, isn't it? Yes. It, but, you know, no, not going. Yeah, no. well, but fair, fair, uh, fair, fair play to him for... Um, you know, for the res- his uh, resourcefulness. I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, there we go. Indeed. Well, we hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I think we'll probably do this again. Yeah, it's been good, hasn't the, it? Yeah, Apres Spook. Apres Spook. I like it. Yeah. So, so we look forward to um, look forward to seeing you again on the next episode. Yeah, I'd love to hear from you at the email, which is. It's the Spooky Tales podcast at gmail.com. Or come and speak to us on Instagram at. The Spooky Tales podcast. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's the Spooky Tales podcast. Yeah, on Instagram. See you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.